Hello everyone, my name's Adam Repos Vox, and welcome back to another audio processing tutorial. Again, I'm doing a lot of these to show you my process before I set up my hardware radio gear, in which I'm going to be doing things a lot differently. So I'm going to show you how I do it in software, because I'm going to be making a separate video on how I'm going to be doing this in hardware later on. So, uh, I'm going to show you how I do my audio processing in Adobe Audition CC 2015. However, this will apply to pretty much any version of Adobe Audition, back to say CS4. Uh, I've already made tutorials for my Audacity processing specs, links will be in the description below, and you can check those out or check the YouTube card icon somewhere in the top right corner here, and we're going to jump right in right after this. Alright, so first and foremost, of course, I open up Adobe Audition CC 2015 and I record some some audio. So I'm going to set my frequency and this will be Audition Tut. This is a Audition. Is it? This is an Adobe Audition tutorial recording. This is a test, 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 one, two, three, test, test, one, two, three. Alright, since I am using the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, my one microphone, since it is, since all microphones are actually, you know, mono microphones, it's only on the left channel. So I right click and go to extract mono files. For most versions of Adobe Audition, other than the latest at the time of recording, you can right click and go to extract to mono files. However, for whatever reason, they screw that up in the current update that I'm on. So they're working to fix that. I've already contacted them. So you just right click in the actual waveform and choose that. Then select the left side here and I will be saving a raw copy so I'll go on and save that. That way just like my Audacity tutorial I can play or show you in my SoundCloud both the raw and processed versions. So here we have my raw file and I will play a bit of it back here real quick. This is an Adobe Audition tutorial recording. This is a test, 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 one, two, three, test, test, one, two, three. Alright, so what do I do to process my audio? Quite a few things, and I actually have them all set up here as a favorite, as Vox2016-Feb, which all I have to do is hit one button on my little Genovation CP48 keypad here, and it goes to work doing all of it. However, I'm going to show you one step at a time just how I do it, and then some recommendations about what you may or may not want to do. So let's go back up in our History tab and go back to Normal, I actually go to Open. Alright, so first and foremost, just like with pretty much any audio you want to normalize it I go to 98.8 percent or minus 1 dB depending on how I'm feeling I'll go to minus 1 dB for right now next we're gonna add in a equalizer it is a graphic equalizer 20 bands it's called EPO 1 but it's basically loudness maximizer um, it's a preset similar to that or this one right here they're actually exactly the same here but it's a basic wave here for loudness mic maximizer for the graphic equalizer here so I put this into play and click apply doesn't do a whole heck of a lot other than change the waveform and then next I go to amplitude and compression and dynamics processing and I add this compressor that I got from Mike Russell who does Adobe Audition tutorials it raises things up once you get towards the minus 60 dB range it, it expands a little bit here and then it really starts bringing it up towards the minus 20 dB range again you can copy these settings by pausing the video right now and then click apply. Now this starts making the audio clip. It is up above 1 dB, or up above 0 dB. However, since Adobe Audition does everything non-destructively, that audio is still there, so don't fret just yet. Next we're going to go to effects, filter EQ, and a parametric equalizer. Now this is, I, I apologize, it is a loudness maximizer. It goes ahead and brings up the high end quite a bit and the low end. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply on this. It is the loudness maximizer preset, or you can copy down settings. It is fairly similar to our uh, audacity preset I can't make it any bigger unfortunately because Adobe doesn't seem to understand what graphical menus are I can make this window bigger but that doesn't size anything lol window scaling is not enabled so I'll just go ahead and click apply and then we're going to before we normalize it again to get those get those peaks back 
We're gonna go to effects, noise reduction, and I always do anap uh, adaptive. Wow, adaptive noise reduction. You can do a normal noise reduction like we did in Audacity, capture a noise print and stuff. But I have a I have a fluctuating background noise situation. I don't have a whole lot because I'm using a dynamic microphone in a very quiet apartment room. However, I still use adaptive noise reduction. It's never served me wrong since my audio is loud enough to deal with it. So I simply go to adaptive noise reduction. Uh, it's just default, but then high quality mode is enabled and click apply and it's gonna go through and scrub your audio and then the start of it here always still has a little bit as that's the adaptive part as it hears the background noise and then adjust so for a better recording you would want a little bit of headroom there I didn't add enough and then I silence those bits out and then any like ticks or breaths I want to silence out I right click and go to silence and that just makes it quiet of course that is what silence means yes and then same thing with this tail end I'll just completely get rid of it don't want any noise and then I'll hit E or I'll go up to effect amplitude and normalize it again where did it there it is again minus 1 dB is fine and then lastly but not leastly I will add a hard limiter effects amplitude and compression hard limiter and this is a custom one I've set up but it, it, it's just limit to minus 2 dB which seems to work for me for my videos and then I adjust levels in my video editor depending on what it sounds like and so I will play this back again for you. This is an Adobe Audition tutorial recording. This is a test, 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 one, two, three, test, test, one, two, three. It has a lot more of that radio feel to it. It, it sounds a lot better to me. Again, some people may not like it. Something you may not want to do is you may want to just avoid the hard limiter altogether and instead just amplify. Here's like amplify controls. Amplify it a little bit so that those peaks are kind of at the top because those aren't entirely like raise it a little bit and that way it's a little bit louder. Or what you could do instead of the hard limiter is go up to effects, amplitude and compression, multi, -band, multi band compressor, and then what I consider is a pop master or here's the pop master here use the pop master preset but I have it set a little bit lower because it causes a lot of peaking for me so pop master with a minus 5 DB output gain click apply and it just kinda brings everything to a normalized level and then I normalize it one more time just to make sure it's maximized this is a audition this is an Adobe audition to and that kinda saves some of the dynamics a little bit but I'm not sure I like it in fact this is a good opportunity. Check the YouTube card icon for the YouTube poll and let me know if you like this version, which I'll play for, for you in just a second, or the limited version better. And again, I'll have the full copies up on SoundCloud. And just let me know which one you prefer hearing better for like tutorials and things like that. So this is the Pop Master version. This is an Adobe Audition tutorial recording. This is a test, 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 one, two, three, test, test, one, two, three. Three. And then this is the limited version, and I will play it now. This is an Adobe Audition tutorial recording. This is a test, 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 one, two, three, test, test, one, two, three. Again, let me know in the comment section down below or on that YouTube poll. I will post a poll in the YouTube card uh, which version of the audio you prefer listening to with my voice. But that's it for this tutorial, guys. That's how I process my audio in Adobe Audition. Again, a bit of a longer video, but I wanted to explain my processing reasons. I've gone through a few different versions of this involving a few different multiband compressors and things like that. But these two methods of going about it are the ways that I typically process my at least desktop audio. I got to play around a little bit more still with my lavalier mic as it's very crunchy on the high end and a lot and, and a few people have now expressed their concern that it's not pleasurable to listen to with this kind of processing over the long periods of time that I do some of my stand-up videos so I will work on that but I wanted to share this and again I will be doing a full radio hardware setup soon so base be subscribed for that smash the like button if you enjoyed and otherwise I'll check you in the next one be sure to check out links also in the description or the YouTube cards for my patreon campaign where you can get early access to all of these videos by contributing as low as a dollar a month off and on whenever you feel like it forever whatever um, to help us keep making videos that we enjoy making as well as my GoFundMe where I'm raising money for a new 4k camera that will increase my production quality for the reviews. Again, links in the description below. Thank you so much. See you later.